Hi, welcome to our Pitchers YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to share with you four things that you can do in order to find your first job as a software developer. The first thing is finding companies to apply for jobs. The second thing is a job hunt applicant tracking system I have created for you to understand at what stage you are with each company. Third thing is how to find mentors to grow your network and to improve your work. And finally, how you can create content on LinkedIn that will allow you to get to more people. Hope you enjoy it. As a junior software developer or graduate software developer, if you have already been in the job hunt, you will realize that there are not too many job opportunities out there. Most companies, when they go out to hire uh, software developers, they're looking for senior or intermediate developers. Every job portal is full of job opportunities, but not too many for graduate and junior software developers. So today I'm going to share two websites with you so you can find companies and people so you can start building your network and putting yourself in front of these companies that might want to hire you. Let's start with the first website that I wanted to share with you that it's crunchbase.com. So in crunchbase.com you're going to be able to find a lot of information about startups, their founders, how much money they have raised and many more information. So the first thing that I believe that you need to do is find a group of companies that you want to get in touch with. You're going to be able to see all the different companies. As you can see, you, Crunchbase only allows you to see just a few companies. And in order for you to get access to the 1 million people that is in this, in this website, you will need to, to pay a membership. But the good news is that you can have a free membership for one month. So you can have one month to do all this research, gather all this information, uh, and then you can just uh, unsubscribe. So this is the first thing. You're going to be able to find uh, the companies in which industry they are working, where are their headquarters, and a, a little bit of a description about the company. But most importantly, you're going to be able to find the people working in these companies. Here you're going to be able to see who is the, um, the owner or the founder of the company, the organization and where they are based. So if you go to contacts, you will also find some information about the job title that these people are holding in which company, in which location, but also you are going to be able to find the, the LinkedIn profile easily here. So that's very, very useful. If you go to fundings, you're going to be able to see how much money these companies have raised. Uh, and this is very important information because if a company recently has raised money, that means that that money is going to be used to hire people. So that's a very good heads up in order for whom you need to be talking to. Um, another tip that I wanted to share with you is that most companies at early stage so these are startups that they're recently starting their business most of the time they don't have the budget to afford to hire too many senior developers or sometimes they don't even have the budget to afford hiring more than one senior software developer so this is a great opportunity for you to knock the door to these companies get in touch with the CTOs or the CEOs or the founders usually are companies that only have five people or sometimes even less and present yourself as a, as a software developer that it's very interested in their company in their purpose of what it is that they're doing so that's why the research is something that is crucial uh, for you to catch their attention um, and if you're working remotely from other parts of the world let's say for example you're working in Latin America and they are based in the United States. Also, probably you're going to be very competitive in, in regards to the budget that they have. So that's my best advice if you're looking for your first job, working with companies in the United States, working remotely from Latin America or other countries in the world. Use Crunchbase in order to find the owners and founders and CTOs and CEOs of these startups uh, in order to present yourself. The other website that I wanted to share with you is uh, 
crunch.com. Here you are going to be able to find startups as well and, and you are going to be able to find a lot of information about them. So with TechCrunch you are going to be able to find these companies, what they are doing, if they have raised money and, and find much more information in order to present yourself, to build your network and have um, more relevant information to share with them. Now I'm going to share with you the job hunt application tracking system that I have created so you can understand where you are in each stage with each company, with each job application. Job hunting, it's a game of numbers. It's about how many job applications you do. That allows you to get how many interviews and that allows you to get how many offers. So for that, it's very important that you know your numbers. So let's say that you are applying to jobs in different ways. So let's say that you are using LinkedIn and you do all the applications through LinkedIn. Let's say that then you might be using Monster uh, and you do the applications in, in Monster. And let's say that then you do uh, some job applications through Seek. This already is three job portals that you are using to apply. This means that you will have all the information in different places and it's very hard to visualize how much effort you have put. When you are a junior software developer, there are not a lot of job opportunities out there. So you might be spending a lot of time in SIG finding that job opportunity that is the right match for you. You might be spending a lot of time in Monster finding that job opportunity that might be the right fit for you and the same with LinkedIn. So you spend a lot of hours finding these job opportunities. You spend a lot of time uh, finding people on LinkedIn to grow your network. Uh, and, and you actually spend a lot of time. And then when you are not finding that job, it feels very, very frustrating because you are putting a lot of effort, but you are not getting any outcome. So that's why I have created this job hunt application tracking system. This is going to allow you to see exactly how many job applications you have done, regardless of how many hours you have spent. So here you're going to be able to put a lot of information like the, the company that you have um, applied to, the position that you have applied, the date, uh, if you have uh, done a follow up message, the link of the job opportunity uh, and if in which stage you are, if you have been rejected or if you are still in process and the contact of the person that you have been talking to. Why this information is so important? First of all, you need to know uh, to how many job applications you have done. As I said before, you might spend a lot of time finding those opportunities in order to apply, but that doesn't mean that you have done a lot of applications. So why I say that this is a game of numbers? Let's say that you have applied to 10 job opportunities and you get two interviews and you get rejected. You have put a lot of effort, many hours finding those 10 job opportunities, uh, you have done two interviews and still you got nothing. But that gives you some very relevant information. It means that every 10 applications you do, you get two interviews. And let's say that in this case, you have two interviews, you have been rejected in one of them, and in the second one, you are still in process. Hopefully, you will get a job opportunity from that application that you are still in process, but that might not happen. So the next time, that you have to do some work in order to find the next job opportunity, you know what you have to do. You know that you have to do 10 job applications in order to get two interviews until you get that job opportunity. LinkedIn is a very powerful tool for your career. And as a graduate from university or a bootcamp, you still have a lot of things to learn. And the best way to learn is through uh, talking to mentors. So how can you find mentors on LinkedIn? So do a list of 100 companies that you want to get in touch with. Find at least one developer, one software developer of each of those companies that is using the same stack of technology that you are using you can find that information from LinkedIn and invite them to connect. In the message that you're going to send them to invite them to connect, put some line like, for example, I'm a graduate software developer. I would like to learn from you. That's why I have invited you to connect on LinkedIn. Once they accept your invitation to connect, you send them a message saying thank you and that you would like to ask them a favor. 
you will ask them if they would be open to be your mentor and spend some time with you once a month. You want to send a very precise message and give them some options for them to choose which is the one that they would like. The three options that I suggest you to do is first one. Hi, uh, Mr. Software Developer. Would you like to spend one hour time with me a month? I can invite you a coffee or a beer or whatever so we can review my GitHub together so they can give you some feedback on what you have done and how you can improve it. Second option is Hey, would you like to spend one hour time via Google Meet or any other uh, video call provider so you can give me feedback on my GitHub uh, in order for you to make some improvements? And the third option that you can give them is if you can send them your GitHub uh, link every month for them to review and send you an email with some feedback. In that way, you are solving the problem on how they are going to be able to help you. Again, from 100 developers, probably just a few are going to say yes and then you will have a few people helping you every month with your work. Why is this so important and why is this important for your job search? From those 100 companies, many of them probably they're going to be hiring. And if they get to know you and see how you're improving on monthly basis, they already will get to know you and they will probably want to refer you to their company. You might think that it's going to take a few months uh, in order for you to get a job in this way. But reality is that if you're applying to jobs directly through job portals, at the same time that you're growing your network and talking to these mentors, uh, if you are not getting any luck through the job portals, probably in a couple of months or in three months or the most six months, I'm sure that you're going to get a job in this way because they will want you in their team. Uh, that's the first thing that you can do on LinkedIn. The second thing that you can do on LinkedIn is to share all the knowledge that you are gaining on weekly basis or even on daily basis. If you are posting on daily basis all the things that you have learned and sharing your thoughts on why it's important, what you have learned and how you have implemented and, and those things, if you have already connected to all those people in Crunchbase or in TechCrunch, these people are going to be seeing your post. They're going to be seeing your uh, process of learning. They're going to be seeing how you're putting uh, determination in what you are doing. And eventually, if you want to connect with them directly and send them a message and ask them about their company, they will already know who you are. All these things together are very powerful. So if you do your research in Crunchbase and uh, TechCrunch to get to know which companies are out there. If you are uh, creating a job uh, application tracking system in order to understand which are all the companies out there, and if you are uh, getting in touch with the mentors and you are creating content, all this together will allow you to get a job pretty fast. Hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions, just get in touch. And again, I hope this video has been useful for your job hunt. All the best. Oh,